So I went to go see R.I.P.D. It's directed by, and I apologize if I mispronounced this a little bit, but uh, Robert Schwenke? Um, he's the man who actually directed uh, 2010's Red, which um, R.I.P.D. is going up against its sequel this weekend, so that's interesting. Um, anywho, the film stars Jeff Bridges, Ryan Reynolds, and um, oddly enough, Kevin Bacon. If you hadn't, you know, checked online or anything, if you'd just seen the trailers, you'd never know he was in this movie, which seems odd for, for promotional materials. Uh, one of the three main characters, you'd, you'd think they'd sort of, you know, have shots of him, but not so much. So R.I.P.D. is based off of a comic book series. Um, I've not read it myself, so I can't really say how well it stacks up against the film, but uh, my guess would be that it's better than the movie. Anywho, so the story for R.I.P.D. is really basic. It's um, it's a buddy cop movie, uh, just paint by numbers buddy cop. Nothing, nothing really out of the ordinary for a buddy cop film takes place in the movie at all. Um, <clears throat> it's it's really a bland plot, guys. It, there's there's nothing going on here. If you've seen many movies at all. Um, you're, you're gonna know what's going to happen. It, it's just... Yeah. And then, on, on top of that, you know, the... the um, you know, Ryan Reynolds' character? He's, like, nothing. He's Blandy McBlanderton. There's just nothing to him. Um, I've, I've seen Ryan Reynolds, you know, act, you know, put, put, a, put a good effort in acting, and I, I guess he's trying here, because... He does bland really well, uh, you know. And then there's uh, Jeff Bridges' character, uh, and Jeff Bridges is obviously having a lot of fun with it, um, but his character is written to be incredibly annoying, just annoying as hell. You want to you want to reach through the screen and strangle him after a certain point, um, you know. Ryan Reynolds' character, he's like he's yelling at him to shut up. He's he just constantly and. And Jeff Bridges' character, he's, you know, once he's introduced, he's on, he's on screen almost all the time. There's, there are very, very, very few scenes that don't involve him. Um, and he won't shut up in them. He's always talking, always making smart-ass little quips and things like that. Um, yeah, and then Kevin Bacon, you know, he's a, he's a decently written character, um, except, you know, and, and well, and he, and he does his Kevin Bacon thing. I pretty much always enjoy Kevin Bacon. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's a lot of fun to watch. Um, but, yeah, it's just... The script is really mediocre at best. Um, and the plot is just average at best. There's, there's nothing wrong with it, um, the, the plot-wise. It's just not terribly well executed, and it just... It's just, eh. Um, and the direction. I, I don't know what's up this time. I mean, I liked Red, um, but I just was struck by how poorly filmed this movie was. Um, the, the CGI is, is bad. I know that's not really the director's fault, but, um, but yeah, the CGI just doesn't really look good. I, in a film where, you know, you see the trailers and your first thought is, oh, hey, Men in Black, right? Um, it's been a while since I've seen Men in Black, but I remember the, the CGI in, in that film being better than it is in, uh, in R.I.P.D. It just, the, the CGI here does not look convincing, and when that's kind of one of the big things for the movie, when, uh, when you have these monsters that, you know, look really, really crazy and do, you know, it just... When, when they just look fake, um, and just bad, they, you know, there's, there's, you know, a decent number of these action scenes where, um, it'll have, you know, the, the actual actors, then it'll cut to a CG, CGI model, and you can immediately tell. It doesn't, it doesn't even really look like the same, it, it just, that's not impressive, guys. You, you don't want to do that. Um, but and as far as like the the scenes go, um, things are really choppy, and I just, 
you know, it'll cut to what might have been a, a cool angle for a shot, but it'll only do it for like a second. Um, you know, like, oh hey, I like the shot, we gotta get it in there, so let's just blip to that for a second. And then, it just, things are oddly framed in other scenes for no reason whatsoever. Um, and, you know, it does the, the two people converse, you know, in, in conversation and, uh, you know, the, the giant close-ups and it cuts back and forth between the two of them, just, you know, like for every two, three seconds it'll flip back and forth as they each say a line, but, but sometimes it won't and sometimes it'll, like, cut back in the middle of someone else's sentence, but not really for a reaction shot, just to cut to the other person's face for a sec. I, it's bad. It's, it's not good. Um, you know, and then they do the whole thing where, uh, it, it seems to be kind of the thing. It's not nearly as bad as it was in, uh, um, Now You See Me, but, uh, unless, like, any, any scene that lasts longer than maybe four or five seconds or so, it's moving ever so slightly the entire time. Um, as I said, it, it didn't hit me like it did with, uh, like Now You See Me did, but it's just constantly moving, um, I, I don't know why, and the, 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 the action scenes, for the most part, they're okay, but in the big climax, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to do this cool visual effects, but it just, it, it's made really hard to follow, for the most part, and again, they're, they're cutting back and forth really oddly, and just do yourself a favor, guys. Don't see this movie. It's not very good. It's not very good at all. Um, <clears throat> It's, it's not the worst film ever, mind you, but it's not it's just, it's kind of mediocre, fun-wise, and it's badly filmed. Like, as, as far as, you know, is it a good movie? No. No, it's bad. And it's not really very fun either. Um, so, yeah, just stay, stay away. Do yourself a favor. Stay away. See something else. Go, go see Pacific Rim. It, it, not many people saw that. That's a fantastic action movie. Go see that. Stay away from R.I.P.D. Um, of course, if you disagree with me, please let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear it. Um, but uh, until next time, guys. Later.